Today I'm going to show you how to make an anemometer, which you can use to measure wind speed. To make your anemometer, you're going to need to have five paper cups, two straws, a sharp pencil with a rubber or a razor on the end, a push pin, and a hole patch. The first thing you need to do is take one of your cups and you're going to hole punch four holes in a cross shape. Hopefully you can see I've made those holes near the top of the cup and they're in a cross shape. If you don't have a hole punch, you can probably make the holes with your sharp pencil. Just be really careful when you do this so you don't poke yourself. Now, once you've done that, you want to take your other four cups and um, use your hole punch again to make two holes quite close to each other near the top of the cup. I did this a bit earlier to save us some time. So I've got that on all four of my cups. And the next thing you need to do is take your cup with the four holes and turn it over. Then you're going to use your pencil to make a hole in the middle of the base of the cup. Okay, so now I've got my hole in my base. The next thing you want to do is take your two straws and you're going to thread these through the holes in the cup where you have the four holes. Now, if the holes aren't quite big enough, you can push the pencil through to enlarge them. Once again, being careful. Okay, so then you thread the straws through and they're gonna make the cross in the middle. So it should look like this. And then you're going to attach your other cups to the ends of these straws. Um, you want to have them all facing in the same way. So once again, I'm threading the straw through the holes. Okay, so now my four cups are attached, they're all facing the same way. The next thing you want to do is take your pencil and push it through the hole in the, in the base of the middle cup. And you want to make sure the rubber or eraser is pointing upwards. Then you're going to attach the straws to the eraser using your push pin. So if you just push it through the two straws and then into the eraser, that should connect them together. Once again, being careful with the pin. Okay. So now I have my anemometer. And the way that you use it to measure the wind speed is you would take it outside on a windy day and um, measure how many times the cups go all the way round in one minute. So you might need a watch or a timer on a, a phone or a tablet to help you with this. If it's not a very windy day outside, you can do it inside using a hairdryer. 